The three major things to know about a meter is AC voltage, DC voltage, and ohm. And this exercise will work with all of our trainers. We're actually using a basic trainer without a PLC on it, but if you're using one of our Allen Bradley trainers or our Siemens trainers or any of them, they all are 120 volt powered, and then that goes to a 24 volt power supply. And on the back, that's where we do most of our wiring. But let's go ahead and measure our power right here. Our meter has two voltage settings. We have V with a squiggly line or an AC sine wave, and then we have V with a solid line or DC. The wall power that your trainer plugs into is AC power, so I'm gonna put it on 600 volt AC. And then Amber's gonna test the two gray terminals, the one with the black wire and the one with the white wire. And as she does, we get 123 volts. So that power feeds to our power supply. And on the back side of our trainer, there are two sets of terminal blocks. And in most of my videos, you'll hear me talk about the left terminal blocks and the right terminal blocks. That is these two right here. So we have plus 24 volt on this one and minus 24 volt on this one. And that is going to be DC power. So we're going to switch over here to DC. And now check in between those two. And we have... 23.8 volts. Um. And yes, we also have a potentiometer on our trainers that have the analog. And to measure a potentiometer without anything connected to it, we are going to be in the ohm section here. And that is the one that has the omega sign or the headphone symbol, as I say. And so we're going to bring it down here. And actually, most of them will have this audible function. And that's where most people are used to putting it at. And to measure a potentiometer, we're going to measure between the outside two terminals. Notice when Amber measures in between those, she's not getting anything. And that's because our range is set too low. And so now I'm going to switch to 200, and it still doesn't show anything. That doesn't mean that we're not getting anything. We're just out of range still. So now I'm going to switch to 2K and we still aren't getting anything. Now I'm gonna to switch to 20K, and now it says five. Now this is five kilo ohms. Even though it says five up here, since we're on the 20K scale, this is displayed in that same scale. So this is a 5K potentiometer. So that is the outside of this. And then the center wire actually connects to the potentiometer wiper. So now Ember's gonna connect between the middle terminal and one of the outside terminals. And while we're connected between the outside terminal and the middle terminal, and we have this at about 12 o'clock, we're at two and a half ohms, which is half of that 5K resistor. Now, as I start turning it one way, our resistance is going up. Turn it all the way, we end up at five. And if we turn it the other way, it will go down, and eventually we'll get down to zero. Resistance is futile. You're absolutely right. You also should learn how to measure a milliamp signal. But before we do that, we're going to do some basic wiring. And click here to follow us over there.